my beloved brothers and sisters, thanks to all for this inspiring session. Since our conference last April, we have witnessed many world events, ranging from the heartbreaking to the sublime. We're delighted with reports of large youth conferences being held throughout the world. At these conferences, our noble youth are learning that no matter what happens in their lives, their greatest strength comes from the Lord. We rejoice that more temples are being built across the world. With the dedication of each new temple, additional godly power comes into the world to strengthen us and counteract the intensifying efforts of the adversary. Abuse constitutes the influence of the adversary. It is a grievous sin. As president of the church, I affirm the teachings of the Lord Jesus Christ on this issue. Let me be perfectly clear any kind of abuse of women, children, or anyone is an abomination to the Lord. He grieves and I grieve whenever anyone is harmed. He mourns and we all mourn for each person who has fallen victim to abuse of any kind. Those who per perpetrate these hideous acts are not only accountable to the laws of man, but will also face the wrath of Almighty God. For decades now, the Church has taken extensive measures to protect, in particular, children from abuse. There are many aids on the Church website. I invite you to study them. These guidelines are in place to protect the innocent. I urge each of us to be alert to anyone who might be in danger of being abused and to act promptly to protect them. The Savior will not tolerate abuse. And as his disciples, neither can we. The adversary has other disturbing tactics. Among them are his efforts to blur the line between what is true and what is not true. The flood of information available at our fingertips, ironically, makes it increasingly difficult to determine what is true. This challenge reminds me of an experience Sister Nelson and I had when we visited a dignitary in a country where relatively few people have heard of Jesus Christ. This dear aging friend had recently been quite ill. He told us that during his many days in bed, he often stared at the ceiling and asked, what is true? Many on earth today are only kept from the truth because they know not where to find it. Some would have us believe that truth is relative, that each person should determine for himself or herself what is true. Such a belief is but wishful thinking for those who mistakenly think they will not also be accountable to God. Dear brothers and sisters, God is the source of all truth. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints embraces all truth that God conveys to his children whether learned in a scientific laboratory or received by direct revelation from him. 
From this pulpit today and tomorrow, you will continue to hear truth. Please make notes of thoughts that catch your attention and those that come into your mind and stay in your heart. Prayerfully ask the Lord to confirm that what you have heard is true. I love you, my dear brothers and sisters. I pray that this conference will provide the spiritual feast you are seeking. In the sacred name of Jesus Christ, amen.